Hey, what's up Aries and welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. How's it going? So guys, it's time for your um, April 2020 tarot card reading and we should be having lots of Aries baby birthdays this month. So happy birthday Aries. My birthday is April 8th and I'm I can't believe I'm turning 55. Unbelievable. So uh, I'm a little uh, shocked by that uh, for multiple reasons. But anyway, this reading is about you guys, not me. But um, once again, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the reading. And I do hope it resonates, but do keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading um, based on the collective uh, consciousness available at the time I do the read. So anyway, let me know in comments how it's going. Let me know what your birthday is and all that good stuff. And remember to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you're not currently a subscriber. So I've been shuffling the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck here for you. And I'm going to get cracking on this reading right away. Um, so we're going to look at the energy of the new month. So I think this is really important given sort of the, the turmoil of our times right now. So let's see what this reading can help us with. So energy of the new month got the two of coins so the two of coins it really speaks of being at a high energetic level and having a lot going on um, I got the the words here a need to decompress as I was holding this card up so keep that in mind too so the energy could be um, a little bit hectic but you see here there's scales in this two of coins so really try to strive for balance in whatever it is that you're doing in your life you guys so something to lead behind or move past okay so we've got the tower moment here so this card it looks like a tragedy and it can probably feel like a tragedy there's something um, happening in your personal life that feels like you just maybe had your world blown apart here. Um, we've got flames on this tower, you know, just there's water and lightning and, um, you know, this is, this is a pretty dramatic card. I just saw angel numbers 222, two, two, guys. So that's really important too, that the angels are here and supporting us. Um, but this card is like, remember your foundation. You can see the brick by brick by brick by brick foundation that you have built up going through whatever your, your life has given to you. And just really keep in mind, guys, that you've survived every single day of your life up until this point. So stay strong um, and whatever sort of, whatever you can leave behind in yesterday that doesn't belong in your current reality just leave that behind you i think it can be really tempting to sort of observe um past traumas and they they become part of your fabric and you carry it along with you but um you know you don't always have to go back and and bring it forward i'm gonna pull another card how can I get the most of the new month? So we've got the Eight of Swords here. This is really a contradiction in terms. So the Eight of Swords, you guys, when you see the Eight of Swords, it really talks about being contained in your own thoughts. So you're being asked on the one hand to move past something, but then with the Eight of Swords, did I say wands before? Anyway, Eight of Swords, it's like really contemplate things. So it's it's like you're gonna have this really back and forth sort of month where you're trying to get over something, but is it, are you missing something in your contemplation? So this is what I'm seeing here. If you sort of let the, the pain and trauma of a wound fade away and like step back and look at something with a more detached type of a vision something might come shining through here I, I don't have any other deck that has a, a star in the middle of the swords of the eight of swords so it's really interesting so there could be some sort of <clears throat> healing that comes out with this star I want to pull one more card just on this scenario because it feels really 
And like you could be struggling to find balance between the dark and the light of your own self. You know, which is why you have the two of coins with the, um, the symbol of the scales to find that balance between sort of honoring and respecting your... And I keep getting the word trauma and not letting it take over you, right? So let's pull one more card here. So we have the nine of coins. So the nine of coins, it really speaks to having a very bountiful, plentiful, abundant life. And that all starts from where you are right now. So there's something that you do need to resolve for yourself and sort of put into place what you'd like to carry forward with you. You know, you always have to sort of honor and respect every single thing that you went through in your life. You can't deny things that happened in the past or are happening today. Um, but you can sort of measure how much time you allow these things to spend in your head. Like you can give 10 minutes a day and then say, okay, well, I'm done thinking about you right now. Or maybe start journaling. I actually read this was a really good tip. Um, I think it was a Buddhist monk tip to give yourself 10 minutes a day to think about the things that your brain wants to take over like your brain for some reason it wants to like psych you out all the time I don't know why the human brain is so complex and always looks for the darkness where there's there should be light right with the star coming out here so anyway getting back to this tip is sort of to write out whatever your darkest moments were or the things that you're like most ashamed of or the least proud of or most uncomfortable put it into a journal or not like if you don't want somebody else to read it give yourself 10 minutes a day and then close the book and don't think about it again because you have to give your future and your present day what it deserves and that's your full attention so 10 minutes out of 24 hours, that should suffice for your, you know, anguish. So something related to your spiritual journey that you should explore. So I've got the Four of Cups here, which is quite fascinating because it's saying that you're sort of missing a little piece of what is happening for your spiritual life. And maybe you're not quite a believer in what goes on. Um, you know, there's so many different theories and people believe so many different things. And I, I, I totally respect that people have different paths to follow, but maybe you're a little bit skeptical about things. Like maybe you don't believe in an afterlife or a God, but there's something going on, you guys. There really is. Um, so this is, and I'm seeing this uh, kind of a call for Aries as we go through you know, I read for everybody all the time and I, I sense themes in what's going on, but I really think that Aries, you're a little bit distanced. Maybe you, you could go a little bit deeper into your spiritual path because following your spiritual path is following yourself. Um, there's a book I read three magic words and it, it was just absolutely stunning and it can really put you in line with a different way of looking at yourself and the universe and who and what God is you know and um, I think yeah you, there's a little bit more you could do for yourself to follow your spiritual path because there's something that you're missing and usually when we're missing something it's us you know you're missing part of you and you could be missing that because um, of things that you're worried about from your past so you're not letting the light that needs to shine in here with the star and you know the star does have representation in spiritual journeys so everything is connected you guys so maybe you're missing a sense of being interconnected with other people but there's definitely something that you need to explore and maybe this journaling that I was seeing before could be that sort of catharsis and maybe you'll discover something very important and it's going to be part of your spiritual journey because your spiritual journey is more about finding who you are and remembering who you are. It, you know, it's completely different than what a religious journey is, right? So, and if you're not sure what that is, maybe have a quick research on that after the reading. 
something to be mindful of you guys so I've got the four of swords here and this is to really um, really just take it easy on yourself you know we've got two fours in the reading now so you want to check that out after the reading you've got angel numbers two 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 that I saw before and now two fours so that's angel number four four anyway getting back to the card this is like a, a new you blooming you know and you're seeing here in the middle of sword cards something different about to take shape swords are very uncomfortable as a as a suit you know as an element they're sharp they're painful you know but you have here the star coming out of like a light shining out of intense and deep thought and then you have the four of swords it really does represent being able to relax and step back and do that meditation and you know the four is linked to this other four so you know you have a deep dive to do into yourself and sometimes bringing up the past and worrying about things that happened that you can't fix anymore it's sort of a I'm seeing I'm getting the word delusion you know you could be sort of deluding yourself that looking into the past is going to really do anything to help you when the key is absolutely in your future um, so guys you have a really you have a really complicated process here that I see I, I see that the like and I'm getting the word wrong measures are being taken to move past something and that's to try to bury it this is why I'm seeing the journaling. This is why I'm seeing the um, follow yourself a little bit more, you know, and don't worry about getting lost in yourself. That's the whole purpose of, of us being here, right, is to get lost in ourselves, to find ourselves, to rebirth and move forward and be, you know, as bright a shining star as you possibly can be, Aries. And, you know, with birthdays coming up and, and you know, people can tend to look at like, what have I done with my life right now? So, I mean, everything that you've done and where's the tower card, it is actually a, the foundation and, and you're exactly where you need to be right now, Aries. So don't measure your journey against anybody else's because this is your path, you know, and follow it and honor it and, and really start to expose who you are because you're, you're a brilliant shining star. And I really want to sing you guys a Madonna song right now, but I'm not going to because it's torture. So guys, happy birthday once again to all you guys and take care of yourselves. Okay, love. Bye.